everyone, and welcome to my sixth, maybe seven episode training podcast and vlog leading up to the Leadville 100 in three months. Uh, I have three months of training left, and I thought I would let everyone uh, follow along with me. So thanks for listening and watching my first episode. Uh, my name is Jeffrey James Binney. Um, in a nutshell, I grew up in Missouri on a pig farm. I was <clears throat> overweight, always, uh, totally inactive. <clears throat> A few years ago, my mom passed away of heart disease, and it inspired me to lose weight, get healthy, and start running. And so, uh, I've lost 100 pounds. I've been training for Leadville with Ian Sharman, uh, ultra running legend, <laughs> and uh, it's going well. And I just had my first three-day back-to-back running weekend over Memorial Day weekend, and so I thought I would share the last three months of my journey because I meant to share the last year, but I was really bad about consistently blogging or anything. So uh, what this is going to be is uh, me giving you a, a, a recap every two weeks of what's going on with my training, what I'm up to, how it's going, the ups, the downs, the funnies, the, the, the sads. <laughs> um, and uh, every week I'm going to have my two best friends on, Annie LaFerrier and Kevin LaFerrier. They are two of my best friends. They are not runners, and they think what I'm doing is absolutely ridiculous. So I thought they would be <laughs> the perfect uh, antagonist for uh, for the podcast. Uh, this is all happening because of a film I'm working on called Once Is Enough. Um, it is a, a hybrid documentary film. It's half documentary footage of me running Leadville, and the other half is my stand-up comedy special about the whole experience. You can find out more information at www.onceisenoughfilm.com. Uh, during Leadville, we will have a live tracker going on the website with my Instagram and Twitter feed, which we will be updating continuously throughout the race, as well as a live GPS tracker that will show my progress throughout the race on a map. So you'll be able to follow along during the day and see what I'm up to, see if I'm still upright and moving. <laughs> Um, so, in general, I've been running for a couple years now. It really started when my mom got got really sick. Um, I started with a 20-miler that I wasn't prepared for. I kind of took a break while I moved to the West Coast from New York. Then I ran a 50-miler in December, a uh, 50K, which is 31-ish miles, in a few weeks ago. And that's where I am. So I have three months until Leadville, and this weekend I just did my first three-day back-to-back long-run training session. Um, you know, Ian had given me a pretty loose guideline for the weekends. He didn't give me specific mileage. He didn't even give me specific uh, time, but he wanted me on my feet running, f running, power hiking four to five hours per day. Good morning. It's day one of three long runs. I don't want to get up. So, I started on day one, and I did 20 miles. And it was insane. For the first time ever, I wasn't tired. I wasn't sore. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, you know, wanting to quit. And I finished, and I felt like I could have gone 10 more miles. That never happens. I mean, I did the 50 miler. Like, I mean, I've run longer distances than 20 miles. But I have never run 20 miles and felt that good at the end. So, the fact that... Uh, I felt so good, and, and well, I was going to say my recovery was fast, but there wasn't even any recovery. So I can I could tell day one that I have really come up... Whoa. <laughs> You're welcome. I could tell that I've really come a long way. Um, so day two, it was... The first I'm a mile 18, I'm 31. I see this view of the Pacific Ocean almost every week. But it never gets old. It is a bonkers amazing. It was the first day it was cool and and overcast and so that helped because heat for me is a big problem. I live in Los Angeles right now and so I the heat really stops me in my tracks and you know I try to like wear white, I try to like I do everything right, the ice and everything, but it still gets to me. Um, you know, the only thing I haven't tried, one of my friends suggested uh, you know, running without my shirt, but 
I would run shirtless, but the trails that I run on are usually really, really crowded, and I just don't know what I would do with all of those $1 bills, you know. So, uh, <laughs> but um bum um, so then day two, it was a little bit sunnier, and the heat was a little bit of an issue at the end, but I was able to do 30 miles. Distance, 30 miles. Time, 7 hours, 44 minutes, 29 seconds. Previous mile in, 16 minutes, 7 seconds. Y'all, I ran 30 miles, yes, no, 20 miles yesterday, 30 miles today. Yesterday I felt like a million bucks afterwards. Today I feel like half a million bucks, but I feel like a badass. <laughs> Hashtag unhumble brag. I need to find me some wood though because I have to run 20 more tomorrow. With uh, 7,000 feet of elevation gain, so it was a pretty rough day, and I finished, I definitely could feel the 50 miles, but it was nothing like like the 50 miler or the 50k that I did a few weeks ago, which would have been 31 miles, just one more mile. Um, so I'm really feeling good at the end of day two, like really feeling like a million bucks. Um, and then day three came along, and I knew... <laughs> oh, man. Right at the beginning of day three. Day one was 20 miles. Yesterday, day two was 30 miles. And today is... I don't know. Whatever, I can pound out. Maybe 16. 20 at best. But <clears throat> I'm one mile in. I just did my first small but intense climb. And my body is just like, um, uh, no. <laughs> like breaking out a cold sweat. I have three blisters and three blood blisters, but it's not every day you get a three day weekend to do this. So I'm manning up and I'm back on the trail. I knew, <laughs> you know, I knew day three was gonna be the worst for obvious reasons. And it was rough, but it wasn't terrible. You know, I find on my my back-to-back -back long runs, even if I feel like I can't even think about running another mile after the previous day's long run, I I get about a mile in and my body just kind of relaxes and is like, all right, I guess you're gonna keep doing this, so we'll chill the f out. <laughs> and it just kind of it just kind of goes. I mean, it's hard for sure. <clears throat> my the first mile in was 19 minute miles and I was on flat ground. So that gives you a sense of how much how much pain I was in starting off. And then it just released and I did 15 miles and my average time ended up being um, I think 14 minutes and 29 seconds per mile, which isn't great, but uh, considering I had run 50 miles over the previous two days, uh, I, I, was, I was okay with that. And it I had wanted to do at least 16, maybe another 20, but at like 15.2, I got back to my Jeep and I was like, you know what? I've done enough. <laughs> so I let it go. And that's where I stopped. All right. That's 15. It's not 16, but I'm back in my Jeep. And 15 will do. A little slow, like 14 minutes a mile. But considering I ran 22 days ago and 30 yesterday, I'll take it. It's, you know, it'd be better if I had a little more speed in general this weekend, but man, I just ran almost 70 miles. Well, I ran like 65 miles in three days and I'm not completely ruined. So I feel good. Leadville, three months out. I mean, I'm not ready to run Leadville tomorrow, but three months. I think so. And I was pretty roughed up that night. Like, I, I wasn't miserable, but I was was really pretty sore. Um, on day two, I made some dumb mistakes and, and got blisters. Like, a lot of blisters. Like, three regular blisters and three blood blisters. And, I, you know, I think it's, it was the same shoes I've always worn. I did everything the same. The only thing I changed is that I wore a pair of socks that I have worn hundreds of times but I have not worn them in the past couple months and so I guess you know I guess my feet must have lost whatever uh, calluses they had built up or rough spots they had built up 
to accommodate those socks. So I had some blisters. So that really was what made Sunday the worst. Um, the blisters, and then I definitely felt a huge lack of energy. But the most mind-blowing thing was that my legs were not that tired on Sunday. Like, I, my legs did not hurt that bad. If I had had more energy and had not had six blisters on my feet, it would have been a much better day, and I definitely could have gone further. Sorry, I'm having a little coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's it for these two weeks. You know, the next two weeks, Ian's giving me a little bit of time to chill and recover. So this week is pretty pretty chill. And then the next week, we'll start stepping it up again. Um, <clears throat> Leadville is August 22nd. I get to Leadville on August 10th. I'll be spending two months there to get acclimated to the altitude. And then we will... Uh, We'll see how it goes. The crew will join me a few days. The film crew will join me a few days before the the race, in addition to my running crew. And then we'll pound it out and see what happens. So uh, I guess it's time for my guests. So um, to all of you who are watching this as video, I am so sorry, but I was not able to get the interview on video this week. But all of the other episodes will be on video, I promise. But you can click the link in the description to the video below for the podcast where you can listen to the interview. And it was a blast. Uh, I promise. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check back in two weeks. We'll have another episode leading up to Leadville. And uh, be sure to go to iTunes. Click on Athlete on Fire, click subscribe, rate the podcast. It helps the rating so much. That's how iTunes decides how many people to show Athlete on Fire to. So uh, please help Scott out. He has an insanely awesome podcast. He's doing some really awesome stuff over there. And he was so generous to host my podcast for, for a few months. Uh, don't forget to go to the website for Once Is Enough uh, Film. It is onceisenoughfilm.com. Uh, there you can uh, watch a sample video that we have put up. It's, it's not a trailer or anything. It's just uh, some sample footage that kind of gives you an idea of, of what we're shooting for. Um, check us out on Twitter, Instagram, at Jeffrey Binney, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y-B as in boy, I-N-N-E-Y, or on the face place, Jeffrey James Binney, and we will see you in two weeks. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.